You ever have these uh, sand art sculptures? You know, where they're supposed to make really cool uh, landscapes and scenes and it runs out of water, it doesn't really work anymore? Well, today we're gonna try and fix one, together. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here. We had a video we filmed of this uh, fixing this uh, sand art sculpture and we were going to do it together and I was hoping to do it really fast. So I'm going to cut to the chase here because it took me like 30 minutes of experimentation and failure to do it. So here's what you're going to do. Here's what you need to fix your sand art sculpture. First you're going to need a 10 milliliter um, syringe, uh, hypodermic needle, whatever you want to call it because one milliliter that we used was not enough. It was too small and we had to make multiple holes in it, thus creating like a little bit of a leak in the sculpture, the sand art sculpture that I had to end up fixing with um, caulk and silicone and all that stuff. And the next mistake we made was we used a syringe needle that was too thick. It was a 1.2 millimeter and you want to use 0 0.8 millimeter or thinner uh, if you can find them and it has to be more than one uh, 40 millimeters long which is an inch and a half the longer the better because I ended up having to cut my syringe into a hundred hundred different pieces to squeeze it into the into the um, what do you call it into the frame so I ended up kind of mucking it up pretty good uh, and of course you need distilled water and some food coloring. I don't even know if this thing is focused or not. I, I, I need a new camera guys. Um, make the food coloring to your choice and put it in a glass or whatever and suck it up and stick it in. And then you use some sort of glue or sealant or to fill the hole that you made in the frame. So that's it. I mean it was uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes of muth fucking around with the... Uh, with the frame and it was a little bit of a learning experience. I was hoping I could do it live on the air and make it work really fast, but that didn't happen. So, and it's hard to find these hypodermic needles. Don't ask me how I got them. And that's it. Uh, 0 0.8 millimeters or thinner, 40 millimeters or longer, distilled water, food coloring, and a 10 millimeter syringe, not the one millimeter, I'm sorry, 10, yeah, milliliter syringe. That'll be enough water for you but uh, we got it working and it looks uh, nice for now these things cost over a hundred dollars a piece so it was worth my two dollar investment to fix it and it looks pretty good and it doesn't leak have a good day